Praise the Lord. And good afternoon, my wonderful family in Christ. It's your sister Genevieve here. I pray you are all doing well by God's amazing love and grace. And I just wanted to come on here this uh, Monday, the 28th of October, 2019. And I have some words that the Lord has given me to share with you. I'm going to share them with you. And he's given me scriptures as well to back up what he's spoken to me. And, um, and uh, I'm going to get straight into it. Um, so first I plead the precious blood of Jesus over this video. Father, we bless you, Lord. We praise you. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for these words you've given me. Um, we give you all the glory, the honor, and the praise. And I just rebuke any work of the enemy in Jesus' name. I cancel the plans of the wicked one in the name of Jesus. I rebuke the devourer and I destroy the destroyer. And I plead the precious blood of Jesus over this message and over this video. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. All right. So I'm going to get straight into it. I'm rushing because I've got to be somewhere in a few minutes. So... um. Without further ado, I'm just going to get straight into the messages and the things that have been happening. Um, so first I want to share with you the beautiful thing that happened to me last night. Um, well, I spent some time with the Lord. I was in the Lord's presence, praising, worshipping, praying. And uh, just before I was about to go to bed, I picked up my Bible and I just asked the Lord if he had one last thing to show me before I went to bed. And um, I literally turned... To Psalm 84 and I begin to read Psalm 84 brothers and sisters and in the middle of reading and I'm going to read Psalm 84 you'll be, you'll be so blessed this is what the Lord had me read in the middle of reading Psalm 84 lo and behold I hear the loudest trumpet sound honestly I thought we were about to be raptured okay now the Lord has had me hearing the trumpet sounds for the last like six years or so, six or seven years, okay? I've been hearing the trumpets sounding from heaven, okay? And um, there's so many others who've been hearing trumpet sounds from heaven, okay? Um, so I literally hear this loud blast. It was exactly 11.46, okay? Um, yeah, it was 11.46 p.m. I hear this loud blast and I was so blown away. And here I'm in the middle of reading Psalm 84, and it was just, just so beautiful. And I got so excited. <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, at that instant, at that instant, the heavens opened up, and I literally heard such beautiful singing coming from heaven. I heard the beautiful angels singing, and I heard like musical instruments, heavenly musical instruments being played. Um, I can't even describe it. It's not even like the music that you that we would hear or listen to on earth. It's just so heavenly. So I turned off all the lights and I'm just got my hands on the the window sill and I'm looking up into the heavens and I'm just like in awe and I'm I've got tears in my eyes and there is literally a portal of heaven opened and I'm literally hearing heaven. I'm hearing heaven. I just heard lots of beautiful voices praising and worshipping. It was a chorus of voices, but I also heard angels singing and I heard musical instruments. And that was just as soon as the trumpet sounded. Let me tell you, the trumpet sound, sounded like a train horn. Okay. It's really hard to describe. It's like a loud train horn. Um... I'm not even going to try to imitate it because it probably I probably won't imitate it well. But if you can imagine what the sound of a train horn sounds like, <laughs> if it was just magnified, and the trumpet sound is like universal. When I say universal, like the way that I'm hearing it, it's almost like everyone can hear it. Like it's coming from above and it's literally being magnified that everyone can hear it. Okay, it's just so loud. So here I am having this heavenly encounter and the Lord is just, just, his presence is so powerful and I'm in tears and I'm hearing heaven and this has, this has, has happened and has happened quite a few times in the last six, seven, six, uh, six, seven years since I've been hearing the trumpet sounds. Sometimes the Lord will allow the heavens to open and I will hear angels singing and I will hear just a chorus of just heavenly voices and heavenly instruments brothers and sisters i was so touched so i'm standing there just looking just trying to see something honestly i thought 
we were about out of here. I thought that Jesus was going to appear in the sky, and I'm just like, they're in his presence, and I'm like, oh my goodness, Lord, you're so beautiful, how you encourage me. And so anyway, I was reading Psalm 84. The Lord had me turn to that first, how precious he is. And I literally start reading. I wasn't even halfway through Psalm 84. I literally just got up to about verse 4, okay? And then the trumpet sounded. Anyway, let me read it for you. Psalm 84, rejoicing in God's tabernacle. How amiable are thy tabernacles, O Lord of hosts! My soul longeth, yea, even fainteth for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh crieth out for the living God. Yea, the sparrow hath found an house, and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may lay her young. Even thine altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God, blessed are they that dwell in thy house. They will still be praising thee. Blessed is the man whose strength is in thee, in whose heart are the ways of them, who passing through the valley of Baca make it a well. The rain also filleth the pools. They go from strength to strength. Every one of them in Zion appeareth before God. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. Behold, our God, behold, O God, our shield, and look upon the face of thine anointed. For a day in thy courts is better than a thousand. I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, blessed is the man that trusteth in thee. So I finished reading the whole psalm, okay, after all that happened. And brothers and sisters, I was just in awe and I'm just like, oh my gosh, you're so beautiful. It was, it was so beautiful. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you, exactly 17 minutes after the first trumpet sound, I heard it again. Okay? Two loud trumpet blasts. By that time, I'm like, okay, we're definitely going home. All right, Lord, you're not finished, you know. And I'm like, oh my goodness, Lord, what's happening? So I looked out the window again. <laughs> so, so beautiful. Okay, that was at 12.03 that the trumpet sounded for the second time. Okay, first 11.46, then 12.03. Um, so I was just, it was really hard for me to fall asleep after hearing those trumpet sounds and after hearing the heavens open and the angels singing and, and the musical instruments in heaven. It was so hard for me to fall asleep because I was so excited and honestly... The, the Spirit of God was all over me, brothers and sisters. It was just so like, you know, I felt like I was getting my glorified body and I, I seriously thought that we were out of here. Um, anyway, needless to say, I did fall asleep. Brothers and sisters, the Lord had me wake up three hours after I had fallen asleep. And when I woke up three hours after I had fallen asleep, I went to the bathroom and literally went back to bed and what did I hear? Trumpet sounds. Two loud blasts again. And I'm like, oh my goodness, Lord. Like, I mean, it was just like continuous. Like, it was just amazing. Um, so, you know what? I believe we are so close to going home. And, um, and you know, God is really, you know, he's sounding trumpets. Many of us are hearing trumpet sounds. And, and um, you know, it's real, you know. Um, <laughs> it's such an exciting time to be alive. Anyway, read Psalm 84 for yourself. Um, it'll bless you. Just wanted to share how beautiful the Lord is and how sweetly he ministers to us. So that was Psalm 84, and um, that was the, um, you know, just wanted to share with you what happened last night. Um, praise the Lord. So now I'm going to get straight into sharing with you. So um, the messages the Lord has given me, and um, I shared with you guys a few days ago in one of my videos that um, I had received, that how the Lord had woken me up at 3.33 a.m. 
on Monday the 21st of October 2019 um, and he began to minister to me and I, I only shared with you in one of my recent videos one of the messages he gave me and that was a scripture that he had gave me about Isaiah chapter the scripture was in Isaiah chapter 9 verse 2 and um, and uh, and he was ministering to me about the mind body spirit festival that we had just been to and um, how precious he was to wake me up at 3.30 a.m. the 21st of October, Monday morning, and minister to me. And then he told, he gives me Isaiah chapter 9, verse 2, which says, The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them hath the light shined. Then the Lord was ministering to me about how me and my daughters go into that festival, like shone a great light. Well, Jesus is... Uh, the light of the world, and he lives inside the believer, and it wasn't us shining, it was Jesus shining through us. We were just being obedient to the Holy Spirit. Um, it was him that used us. So now, like I said, I already shared that with you in one of my recent videos, and I said I'd share with you the other messages the Lord had given me. So let's get straight into that. Um, um, so let's see where... Thank you, Lord. What's this? All right. First, all right. First, I'll share a message that I got. So this one was uh, this this message I got Tuesday the fifteenth of October, at four seventeen p.m. In the twinkling of an eye, you will be with me, brothers and sisters. For the Lord to even make me look at the time when He gave me that message, He spoke that message sweetly into my heart. Four seventeen. Whoa. Hallelujah. What is 417? Say, so that's that's the rapture scripture. Hallelujah. For the Lord himself will descend from the heavens. Hallelujah. With the sound of the trumpet, the dead in Christ will rise. Then we who are alive and remain will be caught up to meet him in the air. Glory to God. And so we will be with the Lord forever. So that's what he gives me. He gives me 417. And um, because that's exactly what's going to happen. At, that's exactly what's going to happen, brothers and sisters. What 417, what, what Thessalonians 417, 1 Thessalonians 4, 417 speaks about is how in the twinkling of an eye we will be with, we will be with him. We will be with him because the rapture is going to happen in, a, in the twinkling of an eye. So how beautiful is he that he would, um, that he would speak that to me. I just want to keep an eye on the time. Praise the Lord. Um, let me just thank you, Jesus. Oh, what a beautiful heavenly father we are serving. Praise the name of the Lord Most High. We love you, Lord. We glorify you. Let me see if I can find it. We honor you. We praise you. We worship you. All right, so I'm going to read it for you, brothers and sisters. So the Lord gave it, gave that scripture to, or that message to me. He spoke that to me at 4.17. 1 Thessalonians 4.17 says, Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Isn't it beautiful how he gave me that part concerning us? Obviously, verse 16 is concerning how the dead in Christ will rise first. But obviously, um, yeah, verse 17 is concerning the ones who are living and the ones who are alive at the time of his coming. That we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Oh, yes. It will happen in the twinkling of an eye. Glory to Jesus. So now I want to share with you what I got on Monday the 21st. So this is one of the messages that I got when the Lord woke me up 3.33 a.m. and he began to minister to me. So Monday 21st of October 2019, 4.03 a.m. The Lord spoke to me and he said, President Trump is about to be killed. Now, brothers and sisters, um, in 2018, early 2018, the Lord had given me a vision. I was awake when I had this vision. And in this vision, I saw President Trump. He was about to get into a car, okay? And um, 
it was either, yeah, he was about to get into the car and he was getting into the passenger side of the car. So he wasn't, he wasn't the driver of the car. He was getting into the passenger side of the car. And, um, and he got shot in this vision. He just got shot and he fell to the ground. And I saw, he, I saw Donald Trump dead on the ground. So, yeah, at the time I didn't really understand the vision. Um, but obviously the Lord had begun to minister to me more. And um, it's come to my attention that there are others who have uh, had visions or dreams of President Trump being assassinated. So anyway, now, in interestingly enough, when the Lord gave me this vision in 2018... He had not yet willed me to share it. I only share things the Lord gives me to share. So there's, of course, any, every vision or dream I share with you is because maybe the Lord had given it to me months ago. But there's a time when the Lord says, I want you to share that now. So now when the Lord speaks to me on the 21st of October, uh, Monday, 4.03 a.m., and he speaks, President Trump is about to be killed, then he gives me permission to share that word he's given me, but also to share about the vision. I thought it interesting that he actually said exactly the words that President Trump is about to be killed. Now, um, let's see. Karamasikia, thank you, Lord. Um, now, I know very well what the Lord has shown me, that once Trump is taken out of the way, um, then, then um, Obama will come back onto the scene. So Trump will be removed, and then Obama will come back onto the scene as the Antichrist. Brothers and sisters, whether we are here to witness President Trump being killed, I don't know. But um, I know one thing is for certain, that we will not be here to witness the Antichrist coming into power, because the Bible is very, very clear where it says that the restrainer will be removed out of the way, and then that wicked one, the son of perdition, the Antichrist, Barack Hussein Obama will be revealed. Okay, so he's obviously being held back by the Holy Spirit now. He cannot come onto the scene now because there is a, a timing, there is a perfect time, an appointed time. Um, so, yeah, so take that to the Lord in prayer. Um, yes, um, let me see. Yeah, so Obama will be coming back onto the scene and I really believe it's going to be because Trump is assassinated and that's why Obama will come onto the scene. Um, praise the Lord. So now, um, so interestingly enough, the Lord gave me that message at 4.03 a.m., brothers and sisters, when he spoke to me that President Trump is about to be killed and then the Lord prompted me to look it up in the Strong's Concordance. 4.03 in the Strong's Concordance is, Ak is Akin. And it means certainly, it means nevertheless, it means surely, truly. Okay, so the Lord is basically saying it's certainly going to happen. It's true. Um, what the Lord has spoken is true. Now, Monday 21st of October at 3.34 a.m., the Lord speaks a word to me and he says, Your enemies are about to be destroyed. Wow. Well, brothers and sisters, as I always say to you, when the Lord speaks a word unto me, he knows that I'm going to share it with you. If you are a bride of Christ, you belong to the body of Christ, you have enemies. And um, Jesus made it very clear in his word that we'll have enemies and people will come against us because he said that if they hated him, then they will ha hate us as well. So this message is for you as well. Okay, it's not just for me, it's for you as well. So the Lord is saying to you as well that your enemies are about to be destroyed. Praise the Lord. Um, Hebrews Strong's 3.3.4, because 3.34 was the time that I got the message. And in Hebrews Strong's 3.3.4, as I was prompted to look it up, the, mean, the, the word is ita, and it means to be shut up. It means to be bound. Yes, so that's what the Lord revealed to me. So Hebrews Strong's 3.3.4 is ita, and it means to be shut up. So our enemies are going to be shut up, and they're going to be bound by God himself, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. So, you know, um, the enemies that we have, our enemies, or your enemies and my enemies, um, they're also God's enemies, you know. So, um, yeah, your enemies are God's enemies, and God is going to, re he's going to deal with his enemies. Um, 
Yes, he's going to destroy our enemies. What a great defender we have. To think that the God who created the heavens and the earth is fighting for us. He's defending us. And ultimately, he's going to destroy all our enemies. What a day that's going to be. Um, they don't want to heed God's warning now. Um, but they want to mock and scoff at God's, you know, um, God's chosen, or God's people. Um, and... Uh, They'll be without excuse on that day. Um, and, you know, sadly, our enemies think that they have God, um, but really the God that they are serving is, is the God of this age who has blinded the eyes of many. They think they have God, but if they did have God and they had the same spirit that we had, would they be coming against us the way they do? Um, you know, just... So, so they're serving... The God that they are serving is the devil himself, okay? Um, um, they've been blinded by the devil, and, um, and they think that they are doing God a service, but they're actually doing the devil a service, okay? They're serving Satan. And the scripture the Lord has given me is in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. And, um, and that scripture says, In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Praise the Lord. And also I'm going to read 2 Corinthians 11.14 in the King James Version. And it says, "Ye And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. Praise the Lord. Yes, there's many, many, many um, that, you know, false preachers, false teachers that are deceiving the multitudes and twisting the word of God. Um, and they, they're serving Satan. Um, they... Um, yeah, the scripture there says, It's no great thing if Satan's ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness. Wow, God's word is powerful. And it says, Whose end shall be according to their works. Wow. Well, now, Monday the 21st of October, 346, the Lord speaks a word to me and he says, You have been treated so badly, it's time to reward you for your patience. So again, put yourself in that position. The Lord is speaking to you as well, my precious brothers and sisters. If you've been treated badly, which many, I get so many emails, you, so many are going through different things, trials and tribulations, it might be your family, it might be your, your bosses, and you're being, you're, you're being insulted, you're being accused, you're being slandered, you're being mocked, you're being treated so harshly and badly, all because you carry that precious name, Jesus, well, that word is for you as well. So um, I want to encourage you, um, the Lord is saying there that he, he knows you've been treated badly, but he's saying it is time to reward you for your patience. Glory to God. And the scripture that the Lord gave me is in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 19 to 20, which says, For this is thankworthy. Uh, for if a man if a man for conscience towards God endure grief, suffering wrongly, for what glory is it when ye be buffeted for your faulty? Uh, for your faulty, for your faults, for what glory is it when ye be buffeted for your faults? Ye shall take it patiently. But if, when ye do well and suffer for it, ye take it patiently, this is, is acceptable with God. The day is coming, you know, um, when God will reward us for everything we've been through. So that scripture, if you want to meditate upon it yourself, is in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 19 to 20. Three, um, and I got because I got that message at three forty six. I was I looked up in the Strong's Concordance, and the meaning is anakephalu. Anakephalu. That's the word in Hebrew. Um, and um, in the Strong's Concordance, anakephalu, and it means to sum up and to gather up. Glory to God. He's going to sum us up. He's going to gather us up, and he's going to reward us for everything that we've been through. He's going to reward us. He says that we, um, he, it is, he says it is time to reward us for your patience. We're about to enter the beam of seat judgment, brothers and sisters. Glory to Jesus. And the final message I want to read because I'm running late. Oh my goodness. Is um, in Saturday, I got this message on Saturday, the 26th October, 11.22 p.m. 
And the Lord said, your mansion is ready. You will be moving in very soon. Glory to Jesus. How beautiful. So the Lord is speaking to you too. He's saying, daughter, son, your mansion is ready. You will be moving in very soon. Glory to God. We're about to fly, my brothers and sisters. Time is so, 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 so short. Um, um, Jesus Christ is coming back. And I want to encourage you to keep looking up. Keep on being a light in the darkness. Keep on encouraging others. Keep on sounding the trumpet. Um, know that I love you all so much. I'm always praying for you and interceding for you. And I thank you for those of you who are doing the same for me and my two daughters. And um, I will see you again very soon. If not in my next video, then up in glory. Have a good day, brothers and sisters. See you soon. Bye-bye now.